I didn't really do an intro for this video properly. It was very much a bit dismissal, probably because of my very dry eyes from not wearing my glasses for a long time. Um, um, if you haven't watched the previous video, the, sec the first part, go ahead and watch that. You don't necessarily need to watch that to watch this video though. Um, but um, there's a few hiccups that happened in this video, especially uh, one of the bronzers that I used, I actually didn't like, and I don't I don't really use that anyway, and I think I just realised this video that I didn't like it, but you know, these things happen when I do makeup, is that you end up not liking something, but then you have to just go with it, you know, but um, I hope you guys take care of yourselves in this um, pandemic, and the capital mental health, and of course, your physical health, um, and yeah, enjoy. Hey, hey. Now, you may have seen the first video, it's that exact same fucking day, oh, spot. exact same day, talking about blush, talk about highlighter, talk about the bronzer. So, I have Hourglass Radiant Bronze and Light, I should have got the darker colour. I have Silk, <clears throat> a medium 885 face contour kit, pressed powder highlighter in one, what an iconic duo, as it said, okay. And we have, oh that's a blush, we have a little witty little adorable little Nars Laguna, as you see here. And when I have a tan, they don't really, they're, they're too light. Now, if you are a girl of colour, what up? I actually really like to go, uh, the typical shade that will look good on you, go a li little bit darker and a bit warmer, especially if you're more warmer anyway so good so good it's so good obviously you have to make when you do you have to make sure i'm by the way my eyes are creasing and doing whatever because i'm not with my glasses and my eyes are already drying up and they're getting tired i'm going to show you the brush that i'm going to use this spectrum brush that a bit fell and i can't find anywhere else but it's perfect perfect i'm sorry you don't understand it's perfect it's tapered and it's really good and this is morphe r7 so just a lovely brush brilliant for blending. I don't really use liquid though, I like to use not liquid, especially because I've already powdered and if you watch the previous video and it comes to here you'll know why. Watch the previous one if you all want to know all about that base aka foundation concealer and skincare, why it's so important, blah blah blah. Okay so we're going to go with the NARS and I'm going to get that brush done. There's no particular reason why I have these except that our glass was recommended to me. So the other two, I just kind of bought them. <laughs> no reason why. Oh no, no, this actually came in a little pack, actually. And I'm gonna basically, I have a diamond shape. So you can already see it's dark and there's a lightest part here. I am basically gonna go here where the ear is. This is really helping my opinion right now. So you're just gonna, that's where your, your cheekbones are, right? So you just want to mainly focus outside and then you want to go inwards. And once you've done that, you want to go upwards. That is just a basic, what anyone can do really. And then if it's playing on the person now, on the face shape however, it again, because a bronzer creates a shadow, it depends on where you want to do the shadow and what you want to do. You don't have to change your face shape with bronzer, trust me. Oh, I can't, well, because it's contour, it's, it's more... I should also say, a contour is more cool tone, it's actually like quite a greyish cool tone colour, a bronzer tends to be warmer, because it's meant to warm your face up. Anyway, so I like to do it a bit here, I don't really do my forehead a lot because my forehead is necessarily not that big, but I like to warm it up a little bit sometimes, so I'm just going to put a little bit there. It's not going to warm it because this is actually quite a, a, a light colour, but it is quite, you know, blendable. Again, I'm just going to... Go to stretch your face. And then it's going to come outwards. So with me, I like to use a triangle motion, but not fixed triangle because you want to make it blend, right? So it depends. You can do a triangle one, or you can just go straight and then just do like a lines, and that can also work. But make sure you're always, always blending. Also, I really like to do is the chin, no matter how thin you are, unless you've got a very, very strong chin. I like to just do it over here, you know, here, bitch. Put, 
bronzer or can think or warm up here although it's like there and there it doesn't look that great you want to make sure everything is blended really nicely now i don't really do my nose so i'm just gonna put the contour a bit here a bit here now i like to use this specifically to make the corners cut so i'm basically really cutting myself a door line like a you know what i mean and if I'm doing it for a guy, if you're a lad watching this, if you try doing it this way, whoa, it'd be great. You can do a girl, you can do that if you're a girl, you know? I actually one day might have tried doing a drag king makeup because I was wanting to wonder how it would be like if I did it. The hourglass. So once I've done that, if I want, I might take more NARS and take this and literally go on my near closer to the cheekbone. Again, you want to go up because you do not want to go under here. You can, however, and the remaining one, you can actually just do it there and then it will just blend it more into what is harsh if you don't want it as harsh, okay? It's completely understandable. So if I want it a bit more warmer, and I want some warmer now because it's nice and summer, I'm going to put a bit in my sleek, which is a bit darker, it's a bit warmer, it's not more like a bronzer than it than the NARS is, especially because it's actually more my colour. I will actually specifically go to the outwards though. And I'm more kind of like pressing it in, and now this is where I'm going to go a bit more on my forehead though. If you think, oh, I've got too much in one side, but in the other, and I feel like my left eye is more than that right, just use a move in it. I don't really like this bronzer, by the way, I'm using sleep. That's that done. Now, before I go into the third one, the hourglass, because that basically warms it up. This is Hourglass is a nice shimmery, beautiful fucking bronzer. It's a light one, which is why I'm going to have to do this last. I am actually going to use the Sleek's other highlighter because the highlighter is quite, it's not shimmery, it's quite wettish look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and if you have a more wettish look, like very light highlighter, I recommend this as well. I'm going to take some of your highlighter. I was a bit bent, my thing, but I didn't plan to do that. And you want to do whatever you want when, when, where you want to do it. Put it here, on your nose. This is quite a warm, dark one. Just literally the only reason I'm doing it, I like to do it there and that. So it, you can't know if you can tell, but it's very minimal. But I like that, and I'll tell you why. Because when you're putting more products on, it sort of gives it natural glow. So even if all your highlight is gone, that's still that's, that one will still kind of be there. Can underline so when it goes it won't look bad because you've still got the underlying one you get what i mean you the same one i'm going to remove as much products as i can i'm going to take back this i'm going to swirl it around again it's summer bitch i've got a tan and you're gonna basically this is when you're gonna do it all mainly so here you're gonna do it more here just above where you did where you started originally but because it's quite a big brush it will obviously go down there Bit of here, I'm gonna put more. I'm gonna now I'm gonna use a main bit and I'm gonna put it on my nose. I don't really, again, I don't really do my nose, but I like to do a little bit of warmth. And I'm gonna put, put some on my chin and then the neck area. Also, because I did powder before, I also like using so it's like a cream highlight, like this NARS Copper, Copper Cabana, Copper Cabana. That I like to see, this is that I like to do either under my foundation, just on the foundation before I put powder on it. Um, so the next one is that blush. Um, so blush, I have a few a great one. I have a really, really great zero waste one. And the zero waste one I have is the Love the Planet Plastic Free Makeup. This is peach. The peach blush comes in this. This is actually biodegradable because it's the remaining one. And you put it in the jar. I put this in the jar here, and it's. A, I'm going to use this today, by the way. It's the best fucking peach blush you've ever met, especially if you're coloured wow is it so good even if you're not cooked it'll give you that lovely innocent snow white beautiful oh i'm so pretty but i'm so natural look it's so beautiful wow wow i do have other colors i have the um pink blush but i haven't actually used it yet because i, I, I but i've got some jars that's smaller than this that i've used but i haven't cleaned them yet because i'm lazy so i'm gonna wait for that and I have their eyeshadows as well, which is actually really, really lovely as well. So I have this Morphe, this little tapered blush. Also, by the way, because my, my summer brush aren't clean, I'm going to break out a bit. 
So if you can notice some small little dots everywhere, don't fucking, it's not me. It's me not cleaning the brushes, it is actually me, <laughs> lol. I've got NARS Orgasm, because it's orgasmic. Ooh, shan, shan, okay. And I have Exhibit A NARS, a beautiful, beautiful royal red. Um, I'm too scared to use it, so I don't really use it a lot. I have Girl Gang from Nip and Fab, which I haven't actually used yet. I don't know, blush is one thing that I'm actually kind of scared to use. This is a really nice little glitter one, but I'm actually going to use the one that I actually know I like and I know it will repay. And I want you guys to see it because I want you guys to buy it. And I want you guys to support small like brands like this. So it looks like that inside. Ooh, how thin there. And so depending on your shape, again mine's a diamond shape, so I will like to do it here. If you want to do it, don't do this because it will drop. You want to keep on the bone cheek. The bone cheek is where you want to act, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna start here. And as you can see, I'm actually going upwards, like I'm doing a highlight in a way. Because I'm using more peachy blush, I really wanna make it as much natural as possible, personally, for me. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's just gonna be so tiny. Now, don't hesitate in mixing blushes. Please mix blushes. Oh my God. People don't do that a lot and I'm like, it's so good. Oh my God, I kind of like shake as much as possible because I don't want too much. And I'm gonna... Again, you want to be control of blushes because it can easily go too much. Especially this one, especially if you don't know the blush very well. Um, don't underestimate blushes. This, this, this one I'm using is so pigmented. So I want to make sure. I'm gonna always do it the nose. I like to do the forehead. If I've got if I've got must I've got makeup on my eyes, I will always put some blush on my eyes. Not like that though. I will actually use an actual brush, but I wanted to show it. So now normally I will always I like to tend to just specifically go over here. I'm doing it more for more looks. I want it always to see that's a blush. I always pay. So what I'm going to show you is what happens when you mix blushes together. So I'm going to use a wee bit of NARS Orgasm. To a little bit. You want a little bit. So when you mix blushes together, it just creates magic. I don't put a lot of blush on unless I have no eye makeup, so because I, have, I want to show you it, I'm going to put more than I'd like to. So it gives a pinky, like, pretty colour. So cute! Now we're going on to the highlighter part. So I have these highlighters. I have this Emmy Way Makeup Forever Makeup Academy Shimmer Highlighter Powder I fucking love so much. Um, and I have these from the same Zero Waste company, put, put these little pots in here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but wow, we. So I wanted, to be, I wanted to just be a bit, you know, try this a bit on my cheeks. Don't be afraid to use a shimmer eyeshadows on your cheeks. Please experiment if you're afraid. Experiment. Because you want to get that fear out of you. Because when you start experimenting, that's how you're going to be a fucking boss, a boss ass makeup liver. This is a really nice, um, it's called Doomy Afterglow from Estate. It's a really nice purple one. I'm not going to go with purple though today. I also have, I have Fenty as well, but I don't know where it is. I can't, can't see it here, so it must be somewhere else. But I always use Fenty. This is a really nice one as well. This is from, oh, Models Own. Really nice. You get glittery highlighters, you get wet highlighters. I call it wet, but you know, you get metallic highlighters, but this is a... Or you can use like something funky and use green. I did that, but I'm not in the mood today, so I'm not doing that today. So I've got it's not it's it's it got damaged, so it's not actually meant to be taken. So I'm gonna put. Oh wow, shit! I forgot that. I put too much on. So a little bit of a disaster. As I'm doing this, I realise that a lot of footage has not been filmed because my camera, aka my phone stopped recording because there was no more room left on my phone um 
and so before we carry because i did actually refilm it the finished look um so what i did after the highlight a bit over here here and a bit on the forehead and the cheek a little bit uh, i used the remainder of the highlighter on my brush on, on my eyes because it's just nice to do that so that when you put the highlighter and the blusher with your eye look it sort of ties it all together it's, you know it's, it's just lovely and um after i did the highlighter i went back with my blush and i did so a little bit not a lot on top of it over here like over here so that um it sort of you don't have a like a harsh streak of highlighter it sort of blends it in a bit which is quite lovely i hope you enjoyed the finished look it's you can't really see it properly because my camera is not the greatest and you know so my carol camera went off but i wanted to just make sure that you sort of seen what happened the height is on some areas on the forehead and stuff always keep experimenting with makeup please don't don't be like oh my god i'm gonna stick with these four things even if you do very good well with four things it's nice to experiment around the four things that you own and figure things out you don't need to have anything expensive uh, so this is my blush and my bronzer and my highlights on it is a look it's not the look people are microwaving stuff downstairs and it is annoying me but it's okay i live in the family and that is actually the finished bronzer blush and highlight look the sun's going down the lighting is probably not the greatest but that's that